Hello, hello. I'm working on another glam Sunday. It is September 1st and I am getting ready for next week, the first day of school for me. So I'm very excited. So I have my binder up here and I have go ahead and finished. This is the month. Um, we have a ton of stuff going on, especially near the weekends with football and traveling and such. So I had to get the month finished before I worked on the weekly. So what we're going to use this week is the Paper and Glam September kit. I'm just going to do a quick flip through. And as you can see, I'm already into using most of the stickers. These Glam Habit Trackers are new for me. Um, I love these glitter flags. I'm thinking about using one for a full box, especially on Labor Day, because there's not much going on in my digs. The headers, this is the only page of headers I got, but they come in a pack of like six. And she reformatted them recently, so you get a half a page of the squares and then the scallops, which I think is a fantastic idea. Currently reading, not sure and I'm gonna be using those in the setup, but they're a great addition to the kit. And then these Glam Fall Full Boxes are just full of so much detail. I mean, the plaid and the remote and, like, look at those trees. Can I just show you up close? I mean, it looks like it's an actual picture. Such a cute, such a cute. And you know, you and me and my football, so I'm gonna be using that for sure. And you'll see here, I'm using April because the purple matches perfectly. And sometimes I wanna add in a little bit more purple. So I've got these Glam Basic quarter boxes because I used up almost all of them doing the monthly. Yikes, that's all I gotta say. Um, first off, as I'm going to, like I always do, take my Glam Basics and go ahead and write out all the timed events for the week. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use as much purple. Um, I'm gonna use pink for me, uh, purple for football, I think would be best. So I know I have seven o'clock Bible study on Wednesday. Things are going so well in the Bible study, but we aren't actually getting anything done. It's been like a community thing right now where we're really just talking about things, so that's helpful. For school, I'm gonna go ahead and use light pink. Um, Jack has early dismissal. Um, on Friday and then all footballs will be in purple so we are going to have a seven o'clock game and a seven o'clock game versus at McKeesport so we have to travel and then this bright one is in Albany but I already know that so I'm not gonna write it down so let's go ahead and start sticking them down Nothing else goes on on Friday night, so we're just gonna put that there. And I'm gonna have a brand spanking early to get to Albany for the seven o'clock of the Bryant game. Gotta add me some footballs right there. And then Bible study is Wednesday. I think everything's at seven o'clock, so why not line it up, right? And early dismissal, Jack. That's at noon, so no worries there. Well, it's kind of like one, but close enough. All right, there we go, timed events. Got the boring stuff over with, now I can have fun. I am going to go ahead and put a habit tracker, but I am gonna put a header above here to make it like have some sort of delineation. And then, you know, I love me some fish. Gotta get those fish fed. You know, I'm tempted to switch out sometimes and use the colors for the month instead of the pinks because the pinks you can use anytime, but um, you can only use the colors for the month certain times. So that was probably a mistake, at least in my brain. But we're gonna put a, another header on top of it. We'll do a to-do on the top with a pink header. So do you guys enjoy as much as I do just the the sheer process of doing the plan with me, like the plan every week? Like I get so excited just to get in here and get sorted. I don't know how you guys feel, but I think it's like one of those necessary things that I really look forward to every single week. So for these check boxes, I only put the major, major priority ones in the weekly here. 
and I'm gonna skip every other line. So I usually only have like a three to do. So for Monday, what is gonna go on? I know Mark's gonna leave around two o'clock, which um, probably be there. And then for sure, I know I'm going to be working probably on teacher stuff, getting everything finalized because this first day of school is on Tuesday. Put the, we're gonna do some filming. We're gonna go do floors. And for sure laundry. That gives me a good jumping off point of things I really want to focus in on Monday and then I can add that to my daily planner as well. So I know that garbage and recycle are traditionally on Monday but this week they are on Tuesday. I also want to designate the fact that it's first day of school so I'll be leaving early but I want to make sure I get those things done first. And then I found this quick cute little laundry sticker. Let's just stick that there. Cute. All right, so now that I'm going to work every day, I I'm think what I'm gonna do is kind of put a priority on all these days and then have this section here like blocked off and then I'll have my evening time. So it's a little bit different than what I've been doing, but that's because my life is style is different and that's why I like open-ended planners like this because you really can make it personalized for what works for you. So I'm thinking, I see this, I'm gonna scoot over. I feel like you guys aren't seeing my stickers, which, you know, it's kind of sad. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty right here. Um, we're gonna take this full box sticker. It's a double full box, if you know what I mean. So it has two different pictures. And then this one goes here. Oops, no, not that one. I screwed up. We'll put that one somewhere else. It's this one. This one goes here. I've got to put me some glasses here on the first day of school. Oh, I wonder what it's gonna be like. It's so exciting. For the rest of the week, I do need to put a full box here. So let's audition a few and see what they look like. I like this one right here. And all at once, summer collapsed into fall. That's a great saying. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put one of those glitter headers there. Let's do this dark one. That's like perfect. And then because Saturday during the day, I'm gonna be driving. So I've got a road trip sticker here. Cause that's pretty much, that's all that's gonna go on both days. So if I put it there, it kind of like takes. And here I have these check boxes, which I'm gonna put here and with the understanding that I'm not gonna fill that up it's just gonna be three things each for my AM list you know how I love missing AM lists and so that is no different I'm just gonna make sure that it is designated here in my planner okay Thursday night is going to be packing night so I'm gonna grab one of these These are from, again, April, and this is what I'm gonna be putting. I already have my packing list in my daily, in my um, petite. Oh boy, that's really crooked. Um, so I don't need to actually write a list in here, but I do wanna just make a designation that that is what's happening after I go to work. And instead of putting my next week header down here, I'm gonna be putting it right here. 
I'm gonna give myself some space. Put it right there on the middle section. And I'm gonna trade that out to to do. And have some fun with some icon stickers. Well, let's go ahead and just decorate other things too. Can put that right there for decorate football. Um, we're gonna. Do, I'm gonna have Nana shop on Wednesday and do the errands then. And let's just start having fun. I'm supposed to get my teacher planner. Finally, I'm going a whole week without it. And I feel like I'm dying inside. Okay, we are having crock pot and meal on Saturday, so we'll put that there. I found a little icon sticker for Bible study I thought looked cute there. And because we're spending the entire weekend I want like a whole sheet of these. I wonder if Lisa Marie would do that for me. Just kidding. Um, we're on Team Glam all day Saturday because we're going to be driving to Albany. And now it's just time to fill in some of the breakfast, lunch, and dinners here on the bottom. I'm going to stick that sticker there. I really should get out, whip out the, uh, the stamp for this. But sometimes it's just so much easier to write breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I probably don't even have to write BLD, but somehow my neurotic A plus brain likes to make sure I know what's going on. And then, so that's just dinner. And on Sunday, we're back at it again. I'm gonna start myself over here on dinner on Saturday because we're having um, teriyaki chicken. Friday night is just going to be out because we'll be driving. Thursday we'll have pizza casserole. Wednesday we'll have oven chicken. Tuesday we'll have tater tot casserole. Sunday lunch we'll have walleye. So let's do let's start again, egg sandwiches. And lunch would be out and breakfast will be at hotel lunch will be sandwiches and I have to come up with a meal for Sunday night on Thursday both Luke and Eli want school lunch so I'll just uh, write pack on the other days now breakfast, I need to make coffee cake and chocolate chip banana muffins on two different days because the leftovers will go to Tyler on Saturday. I'll make waffles on Friday morning and then we'll just have eggs um, and toast tomorrow. I'm also going to write feed the fish and my top three I need to reconcile slash pay bills and I need to reschedule mammogram and there you go that's it thanks so much for stopping by today to do this very quick plan with me I think it took me 20 minutes tops I'll just fill in my top threes for all of those mornings the night before, and then I'm all set for the week. How fun was that? Super easy too. Thanks guys, I'll talk to you next time. Bye.